Hi, Mina-san. Welcome back to the video. Today, we're going to be going over kind of how I rearrange my collection. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff here. We have some Black Rock Shooter, Dead Master, um, some other stuff. We have a whole bunch of little things to kind of go over. I have not really made the time, so I thought of making a video about reorganizing just to see if you guys were kind of interested in reorganizing your collection yourself. As you can see, I kind of have things all over the place. My Itadori and Ghetto with these girls. And then we had just random dendroids all over the place. And then Hatsune Miku down here all by her lonesome. So today I wanted to kind of show you how I normally reorganize my collection. So I have all these acrylic stands. I bought all of them from Daiso. I have a new Daiso in my hometown and it's super helpful because they're all a dollar and 25 cents each. I believe I've paid for them. We have like a three dimension or oh, 3D cube, some acrylic stands. Um, small and large so they're kind of all different priorities and I prefer that way because you can kind of rearrange any size scale on these and it works really well with Nendroids also which you guys will see in a minute but I have a lot to go over and a lot of different stands as you can see I'm taking them all out of my um, Baladin or Blade and however you pronounce it from Ikea I have these they're honestly little extend like drawers like they're all meant for organization but to me they're perfect for nendroids again this is a dollar 25 also you can also find these on amazon but i believe you're gonna play a bit more so i highly recommend looking for if you have like a dollar tree in your area or maybe if you have a daiso in your area daiso is the place i have as you can see we have a lot to organize but in this video we're just going to focus on the two ballot ballads or whatever you call them these two details here because as, as you can see they're kind of all over the place with stuff this shelf i'm thinking of leaving alone um i kind of like it where it is in the fact of everything looks blue i have my aqua we have um Milam in the front, Rimuru, and I love my Aqua with my Vanilla Scale from Native. I feel like they're both beautiful in their blue lingerie, and they kind of complement each other really well, at least, again, blue, and both lingerie, so I might leave that one. So we're going to focus on this shelf. We have stuff all over the place, Black Rock Shooter, Dead Master, this Aki, it's actually part of the resin here, another bust piece, but I ended up switching out for the cone face or arm. So I kind of want to display them. I didn't want to put them back in the box because I think that's what they're made for. Just keep them out. We also have Shiro or Shiro, uh, Shira from Fire Force. Absolutely love the show, but we got to find him a better place. And Black Rock Shooter, Dead Master here again. But I have to be careful. You guys may not see, but um, she's not really on her base. Well, this is a really old figure. I can't remember how long ago I've had it. But yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of, well, not too much space to work with, but we have a good amount. So I'm hoping we can make this work and my, if my cat doesn't mess it up. So I decided to make this my Jujutsu Kaisen shelf. As you can see, it's still kind of all over the place. Um, I just kind of put everything here just to see what I had. That's all Jujutsu Kaisen. We have the Gojo scale, the E stream, and just, we have the Ghetto one Ford scale, but I don't want him on my top of my case because it's not really sturdy for that. But these are all my Nandroids and my pop-up parades of all Jujutsu Kaisen that I have. And uh, we're going to find a way to make this look a lot nicer than it is. As you can see, I'm going to be using different acrylic stands to kind of display them, all these figures. I do prefer having my scales on higher stands just because you can like mainly focus on it. But with the Paladin, again, I'm not sure what they're called, but this Detolf, um, they don't have much height and shelf space. So it's he barely fits on it. his head's right on the top, but I'm so glad he's able to fit on this stand. I didn't have too many small ones. And this Gojo base is really big. It takes up quite a bit of space. So for me to maneuver how I have it was really tricky. I 
as you can see, I do like my Nendroids on these acrylic like bases or organizers. I love seeing my Nendroids, I don't know, just elevated. It kind of makes like a stair pattern, but I could only fit three at a time. I yet to find some of these acrylics and really cheap that fit four. But again, you can find a lot of these on Amazon, but you're just going to be paying a lot more money. I also decided to use the 3D cube here that I had. I'm gonna be putting my ghetto pop-up parade on here because he's a lot smaller and even though he's on a pretty high base, he still won't overpower the Gojo skull next to him. So the height difference still looks really well together and I just love having ghetto and Gojo together. Sadly, I don't have any scales of him yet, but that will change later on in the year. So far, we're looking really good. I really like the show. It's time to add other characters now. I'm trying to add Monkey on the edge here, but Sally, their bases are quite big and I don't have much leeway with Gojo's base in the background. So I'm trying to just rearrange and fit as many as I can. We still have Maki as well and Itadori, but I kind of like having Itadori next to his pop-up. I think it looks really nice, but this looks so good so far. I'm really proud of how I look. Even though it's still not too many expensive scales, you still can kind of make it work. As you see, I'm gonna be moving Gojo because he just keeps hitting the back of that base, so. It sucks when you can't really adjust these special bases when they're circles like this. They do look a lot nicer, but when it comes to rearranging, you have um, less opportunities because again, it's only one hole on the base. I'm gonna try using this acrylic stand, but looking at it now, it just doesn't look too good. It looks kind of goofy. And it takes up even more space front, so I decided to go back to the other one we had. This one it, to me is a lot better and I'm again, I'm trying my best to move as Gojo as far back as I can with his huge base. But as you can see, we finally got to work. Ilu Maki fits and we're gonna put Itadori with him and we're gonna fit Maki in the corner. Her weapon also takes up space, but I was still able to make it all work. And with that, we have the shelf done. This is all my Jutsu Kaisen merch or that I, well, I have some merch, but they're way too big to fit in here. This is a tight fit, but I got everything to fit and it looks so good. I really like how I have Ghetto and Itadori next to each other. And I love the Nendroids with Ghetto and Gojo together and all the friends at the bottom. Everything just looks so nice. I still need to get more Jujutsu Kaisen Nendroids, but with what I have, I think it all fits perfectly. But again, the scaling and the color of everything looks so nice. Nothing is covering anything. Gojo is still shining because he's still on top, of course. But again, this is a really small shelf and for me to fit everything in here, I'm really happy with how it looks. The only thing that bothers me is that little bald like blank space in between them but besides that it looks pretty good now this one this is going to take me some time i feel like this shelf has so much stuff all over the place the blue lock chainsaw man miku at the bottom i kind of want to put miku with the other ones here this spirit tail and fnx one but with the her nendroids there's absolutely no space so we're gonna work with what i got and i'm thinking of making this shelf here um a cute girly pastel so i'm taking out all my twisted wonderland characters here and we're going to take out the little shelves i have here shinra we have ace and deuce from twisted wonderland 2 moving out but again this is really challenging because again i don't really have too many cutesy figures in my collection oh and also i forgot i also bought these little organizers again they're a dollar i got them on my local dollar tree they're really helpful. You could fit one Nendroid on one little square, as you can see here. One square because it's like one regular Nendroid base. So they're really helpful. And I use them to make little stair effects. So they're really handy. So I'm going to be using this giant acrylic base that I have. 
Um, I'm honestly not too sure if this is gonna work out because I'm gonna be putting this Miku here and she's honestly quite big. I never actually got to tell you guys this one, but this was a figure me and my fiance traded for again. And I honestly love this Miku. This was one I really wanted, but I never ordered. And she's quite big. She takes up a lot of space with her back, the ribbons and the balloons on her back from her dress. And she hardly fits on this. And it makes me super uneasy having her so high up as you can see here. I have a lot of space underneath. I give up my whole hand under here and up and down. It's just too much space and she's right at the top. So I decided to take her off. Again, it's just too big. I think that'll be perfect for a smaller scale. Nothing so big like her. I'm gonna use the, again, the 3D cube. And she fits on this, but she's a little more unstable. As you can see, her base is a big heart and this cube is a lot smaller. But with the right positioning and angle, I was able to kind of get her in the way I wanted in the corner here. I did want mash with her, but again, whenever you have sitting or squatting figures, their bases take up so much space. And I didn't want mash just sitting on the glass. So I decided just to not put her here because it's too scary having Miku there. So I'm going to use these stands that I showed you earlier. I'm going to put the cutest Nendros I have, which is my kawaii angel from meeting girl overdose my toho from may made made an abyss i mean from may dragon and we're gonna put maureen from dress of darling i love these three this is the cutest nenders i have again i don't have too many but i these are the uh, nicest ones and they all kind of have the peace sign. i didn't realize this until editing but they all having their uh, peace sign fingers so it looks really cute having them all together like this and I also have this figure. I've never actually showed you this. I can't remember the character's name, but it is made by Stronger, I believe. This is a figure my fiance traded with me years ago. And I just always had on the top. Because again, I never really display her very well. Because again, I'm not really into the cutesy scales. There's only very few. But she fits perfectly with Miku. They're both in pink. The heart's coming like on her palm. And she fits perfect. She's not too big and she's not too small. And the base is a good ratio that fits here with the nendroids too i kind of had to move them back as you can see everything moving when i pushed the nendroids is really nerve-wracking but i got to fit i had to push her back with her cape in the way and i think it looks so good i love this one i wasn't expecting to like it so much all the cute girly pink pastel colors look so nice and everyone doing their peace sign tour with her dragon meat <laughs> just everything's so perfect with this show I just need to get better lighting and I definitely will have to do that. But I think with what I have here, I'm debating if I should put them on the bottom like you see here or should I have them on the stand like this? I'm not too sure. I'm kind of feeling both, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, I actually really like this shelf. Again, I don't have too much cutie figures, but I definitely like what I chose for this shelf. Now let's go on to the other two that we have to work with. They're just gonna take mash out. Again, these bases, when they're sitting down, they just are way too big. June is one of those, but I was able to take him off the base and put him on with mash here, and they both look so cute together. So this one, I'm thinking of making a Nendroid shelf like we saw earlier. Ton of those Twisted Wonderland, Chainsaw Man, uh, Nendroids. I'm gonna try to fit as many as I can in this shelf. I'm gonna make a stair effect. But again, this took me some time to kind of like cut together because you guys aren't seeing this, but editing out, I edited out quite a bit. This took me some time to get right. Cause some Nendroids like the Chainsaw Man, are really big and some characters are really small in their nendroids as you see here the twist on the lands are my favorite so i'm putting those on the top but once you see the chainsaw man one it's gonna be really weird having everything put together because they're gonna overpower the twisted wonderland ones which you guys will see right now And as you see, when I put my Chainsaw Man in front of Malawas, he completely blocks him, which is a no-brainer for me. He gotta go because I need Malawas to be my first Nendroid I see because he's my absolute favorite. I forget how big Chainsaw Man Nendroid is, so I decided to take one level off of like the staircase effect I was trying to make. 
and it still to me was looking a little bit wonky i feel like my nendroids uh my malice and everyone were too high while everyone else was too low i don't know let me know what you guys think about this did they look a little off just to me they do and i just it just wasn't rocking with me so I decided to change it up and just yeah this wasn't working so I decided to take that smaller one in the back and put this other one in the front and just kind of rearrange things to get it to fit the way I liked it because I have so many nendros I want to fit in here I have to try my best to make it all work out. At this point, I'm kind of just testing things out to see what I can make the highest and make things the lowest and move things to left and right. Again, I'm trying to fit as many nendroids as I can without making it too cluttered, but also keeping my set of nendroids together. Like I want all my Twisted Wonderland together. I want my Blue Lock together. I want my Chainsaw Man together. So for me to make those sets fit in one shelf is really challenging. It may not seem like it, but when you have a lot of nendroids, it is really hard to make everything fit. So I decided to use one of these bigger acrylic stands. It's honestly meant for one figure, but if I have three of my Chainsaw Man uh, on my row here and then put Denji on the corner, it really looks a lot better. So I was able to make it all work out the way I wanted it, which I love. Thanks to me changing out that longer base for the smaller one, I was able to fit my two Ace Induced Twisted Wonderland Nendroids together down here and they both fit absolutely perfect. I honestly loved, this was so satisfying for me to make them fit here. I barely got Deuce to fit in here with that white thick frame of metal that this detail kind of holds. I don't like that, but I'm so glad I was able to make it work. And the rest of my nendroids just go here. I'm thinking of just taking them off this shelf. I don't like having my Mugen and Nagi from Blue Lock and my uh, Detective Conan nendroid together here. So I'm trying to fit as many sets as I can. So I took them out and I'm going to be putting my Blue Lock here instead. We still have quite a few pieces left. I don't have much. We have one giant acrylic stand here and a few of the organizing ones to put my nendroids on. And we still have all this to fit and these as well. So I'm gonna do my best to see what I can make work in this last shelf. Again, I really like what I've done with these other ones. They look so nice from afar too but I, we gotta figure out how to make this all fit in the next one. I really wanna put Toji, I'm thinking about moving him because right now he's with Hatsune Miku. I have a little tiny shrine, I guess, and I need to put him with the other Jujutsu Kaisen, but again, I'm not sure if I can make it all fit, but we'll try, we'll do that up towards the end of the video. All right, so I'm thinking of doing this one with some scales and some nendroids. I kind of feel in my Fire Force Shinra and my smaller nendroid of him. I kind of want to make another stair effect. Again, I only have a few of these and I have one giant base left. That's all I have left to organize with. Again, these kind of go by super fast um, when you have a lot of scales. And I try fitting my Black Rock Shooter and she does not fit. And it's crazy because she is a 1 8 scale. And I believe the Shinra is also 1 8, but he's a lot smaller in height. So he fits perfectly. 
barely again like gojo barely fitting <laughs> but he has a little bit more leeway than gojo did but still i kind of want to put him with his nendroid because i'd love having again my sets together As you see here, again, I'm trying to make another stair effect with these nendroids I have. It looks really well with Shinra in the background because, again, he's a lot bigger. But when I start putting my nendroids in front of each other, I feel like they're blocking a lot. And it just doesn't look as good. Right now, I have two of those smaller in the back making a stair effect in that bigger one. But it still, to me, just doesn't look too good. I don't know. Again, she's, he's blocking Shinra completely, so I can't have him this way. And I tried putting them at the bottom, but to me it just feels like it's too much space being taken up. So I tried taking one off to put more nendroids on the back. And again, it just, to me, it looks a little too off. I'm not sure. Something about it just bothers me. So I decided to do a complete change. I thought this would be kind of cool to kind of have like two nendroids at the side and then one in the middle but I feel like it's just way too much room it really kind of changes that problem I was having earlier but at the same time it's just too much room being taken up and I have a lot for nendroids to organize and fit in this shelf so I wasn't liking this even though it looks kind of cool in a sense it's just too much space hogging so we're gonna throw the idea out the window but it does look kind of cool you guys can't admit I tried to get my Goblin Slayer in this shelf, but again, when you have Nendroids with that huge base, it just doesn't look too good. Cause now Goblin Slayer is way at the bottom and I have my Nendroids here at the top and it just the height difference doesn't match very well. And Madara's base with everyone else's base just does not look too good. But the thing I did love about it, I ended up switching out Goblin Slayer for my Black Rock Shooter and they both look a lot better. I wanted to have as many like dark themed stuff in this one. But again, Goblin Slayer just wouldn't fit, so sadly I ended up taking him out. That's it. I really like this one. I was trying to go for dark theme, like the shows that are actually kind of dark or sad or, you know, messed up kind of stuff, but I couldn't really find too many things like that. So I kind of put my spookiest Nendroids, even though Toa doesn't really fit in that category or Mugen or Shinra, but you know, the rest are totally fine. But I really like this setup. I like having Black Rock Shooter at the bottom and Shinra on top of this Nendroid. And just everything looks so nice and neat and just aesthetically satisfying for me. So I love the touches I've made with all these shelves and they all turned out so nice. I think my favorite is definitely my Jiu Jitsu Kaisen shelf. Again, I kind of just put my other Nendroids and figures over here for now. I definitely will be rearranging stuff later on in the future when I get more and more skills. But yeah, I really like it. It's just, uh, I wish these shelves or detolfs, balatins, whatever you want to call them. I wish they held a lot bigger like the actual details from ikea but sadly we all know they've been discontinued but i love how everything looks good here um you guys will see in a minute i got told you to fit here and i able i was able to get his merch in as well because i didn't want to just leave it anywhere i want to see it because i love toji And I ended up making more changes off camera. I should have recorded it, but I ended up putting my bust of Chainsaw Man here and rearranging the Twist Wonderland to a kind of a circular position. So you still could see everyone, 
really well with Aki taking up so much space, but he still looks so good and I love having the three. And ended up putting my Super Sonico, her younger version here. I forgot I had her. She's always at the bottom of my detolf and ended up putting Sakura for Zombie Land. Even though she's in her zombie form, it's still super cute to me. And I ended up putting my Rimuru scale. Again, I have scales at the bottom of my detolf that I completely forget exist. So again, it's just like my blue shelf, blue lingerie. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. One, two, three.